This bill will save lives. It's been nearly three months since a fire destroyed the Cedar High Apartments in Minneapolis, killing five people. Nadifo Mahmoud, Jerome Stewart, Taylor Byrne, Mary Mahmoud, Amatola Adam. There were no sprinklers in the building, and now, in a push to save the lives of those who live in high rises similar to this one, Senator Kerry Deedsick yeah. and Representative Mohammed Noor are introducing legislation that would require automatic sprinkler systems be installed in all existing government owned high rise buildings. These are critical life safety, maintenance, repairs, and upgrades that are needed. There were similar bills introduced in 1994 and 1995, but both were vetoed, lawmakers say, because of a lack of funding. This is now an opportunity for us to rectify the wrong that we did many, many years ago. The bill would require all government-owned buildings 75 feet or higher to install sprinklers by August 1st of 2032 and will offer private business owners incentives like tax credits if they comply. So the bill allows the commissioner to adopt rules to implement the bill and to establish a work group to advise the commissioner on rules and extensions. According to the National Fire Protection Association, at least 40 people die every year and more than 500 are injured in high rise fires. Those directly impacted by the Cedar High Fire know that reality all too well and are urging lawmakers to back this bill. We want to make sure everybody gets taken care of in all the public housing and they're safe and sound in their homes. Devon Roming, CARE 11 News. And according to the state lawmakers uh, behind this bill, Minnesota's building code requires sprinklers in high-rise buildings built after 1980. Most of the public housing towers in the Twin Cities were built before that rule was put in place.